What's up everyone, this is Ali Talk is Tech, and today iOS 12 Beta 10 was unexpectedly released, so today I'm going to cover everything about this beta update. Let's get started. So this beta update pretty much doesn't really have anything new, no exciting features, but I do just want to cover performance. Performance in this beta and the past couple of betas have been exceptional. My device is so fast and I can't wait to run this on other iPhones. There is one downside to this beta and it's mainly an issue with iOS 12. I'm going to have a video on that maybe later. It deserves its own specific video. It's about glitches and stuff, but I'll get into that in that other video. But I do just want to mention that this beta is so smooth. There are no glitches anywhere. The only glitch I could find was when I replicated my dock glitch I found a while back really, 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 really fast. I got this really interesting uh, spotlight search glitch with the widget panel. Kind of an interesting glitch, but not really anything useful, like the dock glitch or status bar hiding glitch. But something that was strange about this update is the timing. So Apple usually has a cycle of releasing every single update on a Monday every single week, or they will switch to a two-week cycle where they will release the update every two weeks and then eventually switch to that one week cycle and whenever a beta is about to be officially released apple pushes out that update on another day within the same week that a previous update was released so that's what's happening this week an update was released on monday which means that in the near future we're going to be seeing possibly a few more beta updates but also the official version of iOS 12 should be dropping to the public very soon, and this will give Apple just enough time to, to get rid of any of the other glitches, which I don't think there are many, but they are trying to perfect this version of iOS so that way it can run on the newer iPhones as best as possible. And because this version of iOS is going to hold, I guess, the title of the best performance, they really want to have a strong start to this version of iOS. Anyways, that is about it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, peace.